on the one hand, the message in Mini Safari is really great. On the other, I don't love it. This is the second segment of the fifth episode of the third season of Mickey Mouse Funhouse. And everybody is reading books. And Minnie is reading a book about a cat of spots, which is a cat with spots. And they decide to go to the Enchanted Forest to try and track down this cat. And Minnie is using the instructions or the information in her book to try and find this cat. And there will be spoilers as I explain what happens, as I will explain why I kind of love but also didn't love the messages in this segment. And they're in the Enchanted Forest as well, animated. It's a nice area. Absolutely no complaints there. However, some of the others have ideas that might help them find the cat of spots, but these ideas are not represented in Minnie's book. And ultimately what happens is that they try some of these ideas and they find things out about the cat of spots that aren't in the book. The information that they learn is not in the book and the message there is that sometimes you don't know everything about something and you should have an open mind. That's a brilliant message. I absolutely love that. I think that that is so true. Just because you might know a lot about something, it doesn't mean you know everything. And that's definitely always worth remembering, not just for younger children, but for anybody of any age. But the other message there is that books don't know everything, which is not a lie. I'm not saying it's not true, but as somebody who really advocates reading for everybody and from a very young age, I don't like the fact that it is showing that books are not all-knowing. Again, it is true. Not everything in books is correct. Books can't tell you absolutely everything. Well, it depends on the topic, but in general, books can be a starting point. There may be more to learn. But I I still don't love the fact that it's saying, well, Minnie had this book, but the book didn't know everything about the callous spots. So I don't love it, but I'm not saying it's incorrect. I just don't love that message. Do I think a child will watch this and then go, well, I'm not going to read because books don't know everything? No, I don't. I don't actually think that will happen. But I still didn't absolutely love it. But nevertheless, it is true. And I think the message there is still pretty great and with a fun story and I love cats so the cat aspect definitely appealed to me. It's not bad, I can't really fault it. The message itself about allowing yourself to be open to new ideas and not thinking you know everything about something, it's always going to be great. Ultimately, Mini Safari is not too bad.